Hey, this isn't a skydiving simulator. No, that's not a good place to snipe. This is war, boys, where the sound of a wipeout will make your butt cheeks clench. Fire team formations matter, and all your landings are gonna be hot. I'm not to be a new Arma 3 King of the Hill. The premise of Arma 3 King of the Hill is three teams of up to 25 players battle for a control point on the map. This is also called the Area of Operation, or AO. These control points deviate from five different AOs on the island of Altus that range from close quarter combat, jungle warfare, and urban warfare. After each round, the AOs randomly change as well as the time of day. To control the AO and win the match, the players must have the most amount of soldiers on the objective at any given time to score points. You can also see how many enemies are on the AO by looking at the squares below the enemy team's colors. Each square represents enemy combatants. If another team starts to neutralize it while the team is defending, it's crucial for you to eliminate enough targets to capture the objective to start scoring points again. First team to 100 points wins and thus triggers a new match. Each team spawns within the respected base at the start of the match and after each death. The players may choose to buy vehicles, change appearance, select perks, and equip a loadout. When your vehicles are destroyed, they're lost forever. Your appearance and loadout will persist so long as you choose to repurchase the loadout you had on previous life or choose to permanently buy it, making it available to you forever. Specific guns, attachments, perks, vehicles, and appearance unlock as you progress through experience via leveling your soldier. You can obtain XP and money every minute by being inside the current AO's map-based borders seen here, reviving down teammates, and killing enemy soldiers and vehicles. Each new soldier starts with one given perk. They are interchangeable and free. However, to unlock multiple at a time, you must purchase the second unlock slot for 10,000 and the third for 100,000. Perks are symbiotic with each other, making stacking the perks invaluable to your soldier. Once you purchase the two perk slots, they, like the permanently bought weapons, will stay forever and never need to be bought again. These two slots should be your first major purchase on King of the Hill. The current perks available on King of the Hill are Medic increases friendly revive type substantially, essential for squad play. Engineer having this perk is the only way to repair friendly and enemy vehicles. Marksman this unlocks all level available sniper rifles in the store. Explosive this gives you a free satchel charge as well as 40 mil grenades if you have the gun with the available attachment. Infatigable this increases your stamina recharge substantially. Silencer. This gives you a free silencer attachment pending your gun can use it. Launcher. This unlocks all available launchers for purchase in the store. Laser Designator. This replaces your range finders with the thermal vision laser designator you can use to spot and lock targets. Discount. This gives you 50% off your next respawn purchases. Your loadout is purchased every new life or start of the match. So long as you have the funds available, you can buy everything from anti-air rockets, sniper rifles, heavy machine guns, and everything in between. It is crucial that you manage your money so you aren't caught broke on a new life, forcing you to use the default weapon. It is also important to mention that some of the weapons are not available unless you have the corresponding perk active. For example, all sniper rifles are only available with the marksman perk active. Finally, weapons unlock in tiers, so the more high damage end game weapons will not unlock until you reach the corresponding level. Even then, it might take a few more additional levels to unlock your favorite optic for it. It is also important to mention that your perk slots, permanently bought weapons, money, and experience level all persist across all official King of the Hill servers as seen here. Your appearance can be tactically beneficial in some ways. Ghillie suits provide excellent camouflage in some environments, but lack the full protection Kevlar helmets and vests the soldiers provide. It's important that you pay attention to what is more important to you in your current AO, being as camouflaged as possible or being protected as much as possible. These decisions can be made on a case-by-case -case basis depending on the map and your play style. Also, there are some secret appearance unlocks in the higher levels. Like guns and optics, they too unlock in tiers with level 50 unlocking everything. 
Vehicles range from Strider Heavy Machine Gun, the Wipeout, and even the M2 Slammer. It's important that you understand how to use these vehicles proficiently, so I will provide a guide in the description on how to test all of the vehicles out in a single player game, so you don't waste your money in King of the Hill learning how to fly. Also, vehicles can be fully rearmed and repaired via the repair station. So long as the vehicle isn't completely destroyed and you have the engineer perk active, you can repair the vehicle enough to get it back to one of these stations if you are temporarily disabled during combat. Depending on the type of player you are, King of the Hill will suit you since it showcases all of the game's available land and air vehicles, as well as all the weapons available in Arma 3. If you are more of a team player, there's a squad system that allows you to invite teammates to join. Once joined, you will be able to communicate via group chat as well as see a hexagon around all the people in the squad. Forming squads of five and running fire teams throughout the city via ground infantry movements is a blast and I highly recommend it. Especially since team kills in proximity to you will give you assist points and having four people to revive will not only score you points but make you virtually unstoppable. If you are more of a lone wolf player, you can hop in a jet and provide close air support to your team calling out targets in side chat. Or you can grab a sniper and do some urban sniping. I will provide links in the description on how actual military tactics that are useful in the game mode to Zarma 3 is based on military simulation. Concepts like firing from deep within a structure to mask your rifle signature and sound, or force multipliers like heavy machine guns with silencers are all tactics that you will discover by playing King of the Hill. At the start of the match, buy a Pawnee and race to the AO in it. Most enemy pilots will attempt to land their Berlins full of enemies in predictable places, which will provide for an easy early game wipe of the enemy team. Counter their strengths. If there's a particularly large threat on the opposing force, like AA taking out your choppers, get a launcher and get some easy cash and XP by blowing him up. Being good at King of the Hill means being okay at everything. Being able to switch your playstyle on the fly is a good way to counter their strengths. Knowledge is power. I will link a ballistic test mission in the description for you to play with. What you probably didn't know is you can shoot a Marshall driver out of the vehicle with a 408 sniper as well as destroy a slammer with a well-placed standard RPG to the crew hatch. Play with the guns in some ballistics testing and you will be surprised at what you discover. Symbiotic perks like the fatigue and ammo are great for running LMG loadouts. This will give you extra ammo and enough stamina to be able to run and gun with it. Another great perk combo is the marksman and laser designator. This gives you the ability to spot targets with thermal while you are sniping. Make sure you vote for King of the Hill by Sumatra and Bohemia's Make Arma Not War Community Mod Contest. It's player made mods like these that make Arma so awesome. I'll put links to that in the description and how to do it. And the rest of King of the Hill, you will discover for yourself or die trying.